you you're look wrinkling my dress. Like uh, your mother every time I see you. You think so? No, I lied. Actually, you look more like me every time I see you. I just don't want to oh, no. I don't think you have to worry about that. <laughs> Please put me down. No, I won't. Frank! Hey, look, I never said it was going to be easy, sis, right? Frank! <laughs> what? This is incredible. Did you two come up with this? Yeah, yeah, you know, it was either Harley or a terry cloth bathrobe. <laughs> it was a tough choice, too, let me tell you. I, this, I can't, th I, you made my life. You made my, I can't believe this. I, where's, where's Mallet? Is he hiding in the kitchen? Oh, no, he could make it. That's what you said the last time. I know, it's, he works so hard, you know, he's on a tough case and he, he just couldn't, he couldn't get off. He really wanted to come, though. Well, I guess you can't get everything you want, but I think I got everything I want. <laughs> I want you to meet somebody. Here. Look what I got. Hi, Jenna. It's good to see you, Holly. All right, all right, where's my kiss? Huh? Where's my kiss? Right here. Uh, get out of my nobody, kiss, kiss, nobody kisses my daughter. That old man's permission is stuck. Buzz. Chill. How are you? <laughs> when did you get in? About an hour ago. How long can you stay? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of playing it by ear, I think. Okay, you've caught up enough. Okay, I want Go you to meet there. somebody in Portland. Oh. This is your little brother. My little what? Your little brother. He's the little dude over there that you, his mother doesn't know how to dress him. Say hi to him. <laughs> hi there. His name is Coop. Don't that Coop? be it all? Sure, oh, for Koopa. Hi, Coop. I'm Harley. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> He's such a handsome little guy. Oh, I think he knows it. Oh, I think there's going to be a little competition here. You and I can be friends, right? I know, it's hard to believe we just known each other for a couple of months. I know, it's amazing. I feel so comfortable with you. It's a... I trust you. Kind of scary, huh? Uh, sort of. It's just that I don't trust people easily. In fact, my... My daddy used to get very critical of me because I was so suspicious of people. Well, you know, I don't trust people very often either. I mean, I don't even trust myself half the time, like now. Now? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I couldn't trust the feelings I was having for you. I mean, I, 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 it took me a while to just admit that I had this incredible fascination with this woman that I, I didn't know. I mean, think about it. I mean, outside of the fact that you told me you were a brunette, I have no idea what you look like. Well, does it matter? Well, no, but it, it... It's nice to have a visual. Um, okay, uh... I, I don't know what to say. What color are your eyes? Oh, <laughs> blue. Fair skin? Yeah, as a matter of fact, if I don't put sunblock on and I go out in the sun, then I'm a mess. I, I blister. Any freckles? A few. Okay, I'm starting to get a visual here now. You're beautiful. What do you have on? Test. Tell me what you're wearing. Ellen. Ellen. Look at me. Ellen. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I do to you? Ellen. Oh, my God. Ellen, it was an accident. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. Ellen, I'm so sorry. Ellen, please, just open your eyes. Just, just say something to me, Ellen. Just yell at me or scream at me. Please, okay, all right, all right, listen, everything's gonna be all right, I swear, everything's gonna be, everything is gonna be all right, listen, Ellen, why did you make me do this, huh? I didn't want to hurt you, I didn't, you just, you just kept pushing and, 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 and pushing and you said those awful things about Josh, Ellen, please, don't do this, open your eyes, Ellen, don't do this to me, Ellen! What did you do now, Annie?
This is great. Oh, okay. I like this cake, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh, oh, man. Oh, nice suit, man. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Excuse me. Hey, hey. hey. Have a big with the birthday, hey, boy. Leave it. Uh, you know what? Maybe later. No, wait. Hold it. You got to see one of my presents here. Just straight in from Florida. Come here. Woo. Hey. How are you? You look great. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> Listen, I do want to talk to you, but um, uh, I, I got to do something first. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry Billy? about it. Billy? Yeah. Hey, little brother. Have you seen Reva? Yeah. Well, where is she? I've been looking for her for uh, the last hour or so. Well, you just missed her. She took off here about half an hour ago. Did she say where she was going? Nope. Just lit out here like a bat out of hell. Where's Fran, Annie? Did you knock her out, too? I, I didn't knock anybody out. I, I, I didn't do this to, to Alan. All right, so I assume he uh, knocked himself over the no, head with a No, it wasn't mate? Alan either. It, it, it wasn't me or, or Alan. Then who was it? <laughs> uh, Fran. It was Fran. She went crazy. She was like a wild animal. The minute that we walked in here, she kept mumbling all this stuff. What stuff? I don't know. I don't know what stuff. It, that's just my point. And, and then we walked in here, and she saw a face, and she, she grabbed it, and wham, she hit Ellen over the head. Why? I don't know why. Well, there must have been a reason, Annie. What did you say to her to make her so angry? Nothing! Reba, I, I, I didn't say anything. She was freaking out when we got here. That doesn't matter anyway. Ellen is hurt, and he needs our help. Ellen. Are you sure he's not already... No! Reeve, don't say that. Don't say it, because... Don't even think it, because Ellen... Ellen wouldn't die. He... He, he wouldn't do that to me. Billy, how could you just let Reva run off like oh, that? Oh, what? Last I looked, Reva was grown. Besides, have you ever known her to tell you anything that she didn't So you're saying you have no idea where she is? Look, all I can tell you is that just before she left, she got a phone call from Rusty. From Rusty? Yeah. That helps. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, you sure does seem to make my dad happy. <laughs> They're developing a very special relationship. Mm -hmm. I think it's been good for both of them. Yeah. And how good has it been for your husband? Don't look so surprised. <laughs> Your dad pointed him out to me a few months ago when I was here for the Cedars Ball. I hadn't realized. Hmm. Well, just so that you know, Jeffrey is not Coop's father, Buzz is. Mm -hmm. And for all intents and purposes, my marriage is over. For all intents and purposes, that's an interesting way to put it. Well, it's true. I hope so. I hope so, because I heard about your arrest for attempted robbery right after I left town. That part of my life, Holly, is completely over. Hmm. Well, is that for all intents and purposes over with, or really over with? I said I don't do it anymore. Hmm. I guess you can only go one day at a time. Or don't they have 12-step programs for cat burglars? Why is it that you dislike me so much? It's not so much that I dislike you, Jenna. Although I do dislike you. This is about loving my father. I love your father. Like you did when you walked out at him a few years ago? You broke his heart, Jenna. I don't want to see my father get hurt again. I have no intention of hurting Buzz again. You better not, Jenna, because I'll tell you something. I don't know if you remember this. My father and I, we have kind of a role reversal thing going. And I'm a mother tiger, and I'm a mean mother tiger when it comes to his happiness. And I will tell you something. If this is one of your Holly, little games you you're playing Hollywood, keep your voice down. Buzz makes me very happy. He makes Coop very, very happy. And he's actually quite pleased to see you here, so... Don't spoil it for him, all right? Uh, General, you have to excuse my sister. I think maybe she had one too many peanuts on the airplane. Yes, Frank, I think you're probably right. I'm sorry. I don't want to ruin Dad's big night. I'm sorry. Well, good. Does that mean maybe you'll keep your little yap shut I'm for a trying, couple hours? Frank, I'm trying, but it's just so hard because I just know how Jenna does it. I remember how she gets under his skin and she twists them all in and out and then she always lets him down. I don't think she means to, sis. I honestly believe that she loves him. Well, Harley still doesn't like me. Oh, well, she's a tough nut to crack. She'll come around when she sees how happy you make. I don't think it's buddies. going to be that easy. <laughs> well, stop thinking and smile. Smile? <laughs> yeah, because me and you, we're going to have it all. Why does it matter? 
what I'm wearing. Well, I'm just trying to get the full visual here. I mean, I understand if, if you're modest. I mean, it's okay. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I'm no prude, okay? Not at all. A as a matter of fact, in my college days, I was a real hellion. I gave my father a lot of gray hairs. I'll bet you did. What were you like? Well, I wasn't exactly a bra burner, but that's because I wasn't usually wearing one. Mm. You were a flower child. <laughs> no, not exactly. As a matter of fact, I think I came into the world wearing high heels and silk stockings and diamond earrings. It wasn't until I got uh, <clears throat> a little older until I got into the casual wear. So even though you looked all prim and proper, you were really kind of, uh, kind of wild, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, but, but that was a long time ago. I mean, that was a whole lifetime ago. I'm a totally different person now. Oh, come on, lepers don't change your spots. Why else would you be talking to me? Good question. So, tell me, what does um, someone who was born with high heels and stockings on <laughs> wear when they go to bed these days? Well, now, would you believe flannel pajamas with footies? No, I wouldn't believe that. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go first here. Uh, all right, I have... Um, I have dark brown hair, blue eyes, I'm uh, barefooted, and I'm wearing blue jeans. <clears throat> okay. What kind of shirt? Now you're starting to get into it. Um, actually, I'm not wearing one. So, uh, what else besides a t-shirt? Oh. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't say anything. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. Is it, um, is it a big t-shirt or a little t-shirt? <laughs> it is a medium t-shirt. Uh-huh. You like to dance? Yeah, I love to dance, especially on a night like tonight when the air is so soft and so warm. Dance with me. I'd love to. Okay, I'm going to, um, uh, take you in my arms and pull you close, being careful that your t-shirt doesn't raise up too high. Wait a minute. We're dancing, and I'm wearing a t-shirt? Well, that's what you said you were wearing, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but... You, um, you smell like fresh-cut flowers, lilies. I could feel your heart beating against my chest. So I swirl you around and... and we notice that people are watching us and you start to get embarrassed. And I tell you to look into my eyes. I tell you to look into my eyes and pretend we're the only two people in the whole world. And then I... I turn your face toward mine and bring your lips close to mine. I'll swirl you around again and again and again. We should call 911. No, 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 no. Uh, just get the damn towels before he bleeds to death. Please. Alan. Alan. 
I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I swear to God, I'll make this up to you. But please, Ellen, wake up, do something. Let me know that you're okay. Please. <laughs> on this wound. If he dies, it'll be your fault. No, Annie, if he dies, we're gonna know whose fault it is. And as much as I would hate to lose Alan, nothing would thrill me more than to know that you have just been stripped of your bag of tricks. No, it's Fred did this. That's not what it looked like to me. Yes, uh, there's been an accident. My name is Reva Shane. Uh, we're in at the Savoy Hotel in room 204. The address here is... Okay, you have the address. Um, a man's been hit over the head with a vase, and he's out cold. Uh, we're gonna need an ambulance immediately. And bring the police. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. No, there's a nurse with him right now. Her name? Annie Dutton Lewis. No, I think she'll be able to tell the uh, police the whole story. No, I have no idea what exactly happened, but I think Annie will be able to tell them. We'll be waiting. Thank you. Why did you ask for the police? Annie, a man's been assaulted. They're gonna want to know who was responsible. No, right now we should be concerned about one thing, and that's Alan. You mean the man who's unconscious over there that you just abandoned? I didn't abandon him. I'm the only one taking care of him, and if you had any moral conscience, Reva, you'd be concerned about his well-being instead of a lengthy statement to the police. You mean like you? I'm concerned about Alan. I am deeply concerned about him. Alan. I'll just bet you are. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know? You should see this from my point of view. You really should. I think you'd get a kick out of it. Here you are, bent over the unconscious form of Alan Spaulding, who no doubt is the last friend you have on this planet. You better hope he recovers, or else you won't have him around to lie for you anymore, to cheat for you, to get up there on that witness stand and perjure himself so that you can make all your dreams become a reality. That's not true. Unless, of course, someone already knocks some sense into him. We can only hope that your good friend Alan wakes up so that he can finally tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. I know that's what you want to happen, but it's not going to happen. You know, I get these feelings in my gut, and they usually pan out. You know, this is almost worth it, all the pain and suffering you put me through just to be able to stand back and watch you squirm. I can't wait until he comes to his senses and he can tell us exactly what it was that happened tonight. Me neither. Really? What exactly do you think he's going to say when I ask him what happened? What do you think he's going to say? Who do you think he's going to say hit him over the head, Annie? The crazy runaway nurse, Fran? Or someone else? That's what I thought. I didn't say anything. Oh, no, you didn't have to. You see, because very, very shortly, it's gonna be over for you, Annie. Your last hope of winning this case will be done because you won't have Alan to lie for you anymore and this whole thing is gonna fall apart. That I'll be free and back in Josh's arms. No, where I... no, that's not gonna happen because Josh said that he loves me. He told me so himself and if you try again, Rebecca, I swear what, to God, I'll... what, Annie? You're gonna hit me over the head with a vase too like you did Alan? You're not going to get away with everything. Not forever. Please, open up. Uh. Uh. All right, tell, uh, tell Mara that I love her, and tell Shane that I'll send the baseball cards uh, overnight and shoot him by tomorrow. Now, listen, Rusty, uh, I understand you spoke with Reva. Yeah, did you find Annie's friend, Fran? And you told Reva, okay, could you tell me? Because Reva went charging out of here, I want to find her. Okay, yeah, I know the hotel. What room? Great, thanks. All right, bye-bye. 
Uh, Carly, Carly, I gotta go, okay? I, I'll, I'll catch up with you later on, okay? Happy birthday. Oh, sorry, I can't stay, though. You okay? Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Take care. You know, I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Do you want to get some air? Happy birthday, baby. Yeah. Because my date is gone. Hey, 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 hey. You're not, you're not going out that door. You just got here. I'm just going to get some air. I'll be right back. Ooh. Well, we have your, all your bags put in Buzz's old room, so if you want it, it's yours. That's great. As long as you got rid of all those junky old bowling trophies of his. I'm oh, sure. oh, <laughs> where are you? Those are collector's, collector's items. items. They better be there. Uh, don't worry about it. They're in the basement, okay? I put them in the basement. Thanks. For your information, I have my pride. I'm a proud man. <laughs> For your information, you have every right to be a proud man. <laughs> Happy birthday. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> I, do. I don't. You. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you, Frank. You're not getting mushy, Amen. right? He's getting mushy. How much champagne did you give him? I Don't look at me. It's your father. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Oh, this little guy is getting tired. He's going to be a party pooper, I'm afraid. Okay. Oh. Well, I get stuff from his mother's side of the family. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I really should get him to bed. I want him to stay with me, okay, Mom? Uh, I, uh, oh, I, th I think the three of us have to go to my place tonight. Well, you know, He's darling. He's so cute. <laughs> Such a handful, this little one. <laughs> well, you know, Jenna, you could stay over, too. Dahlia's spending the night at Michelle's. There's plenty of room. Uh, it's not Ooh. going to work. Oh, you know, it is so sweet of you to offer that. I don't know how I can say no. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay, that settles it. Come on, I'll show you the way. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Oh, Buzz, look, no, Marina really wants to stay and play with Coop. I know it's your birthday. Are you kidding me? No. Mm. We'll Are be able kidding? to spend all of your birthday nights together from now on. I really do have to get up early and do my community service. Yeah, I... mm -hmm. All right. I love you. Oh, I love you. Happy birthday. Good night. Good night. Okay, well, that's fun. Hey, uh, why so glum? I think I better get home. Are you sure? Yeah. It was perfect. Okay. It was ap okay. just perfect. Not yet, but it will be. <laughs> Okay, well, good. Let's enjoy it. All right. See you later. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's enjoy it. It's perfect. The heat is on, and Oakdale is sizzling. Before July is over, someone's going to get burned as the world turns. So go ahead, lose your cool this summer on CBS. Gosh, thank you for that dance. It was, it was, it was wonderful. I don't, um, I don't want to stop. I don't, I don't want to let go of you. I don't want you to let go of me either. Your arms feel so good. They feel so... They feel so familiar. Can I kiss you? I was there, too. It was unbelievable. It never happened to me before. Oh, no? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. Me neither, but you know what? Why? 
I bet if I think about it really hard, I can figure out a way that, I don't know, maybe we could make it happen again. Really? so much. And I want you. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Herbert, if that's you, I don't have your stupid... Petula. May I come in? Uh, you can move in. Get on in here. Uh, I, well, well, I, <laughs> what are you well, wearing such a goofy tie for? My goofy son gave it to me. What do you think? I think it's goofy. What, what happened? What are you doing here? I was about to jump into my jammies after reading a bedtime story to Coop, and I realized that I'd forgotten something. Yeah, me. <laughs> no, I forgot to give you a birthday present. Oh, did you get me a birthday present? <laughs> I didn't, didn't have time didn't to wrap it. Well, it's got to be small. What is it? What, a, a watch? Uh, do you need a watch? Well, I might slow down and since it's filled up with water. Since you wore it in the shower, you mean? Uh, yeah. Or yeah. well, uh, wallet. I can use a wallet, well, too. No, I didn't get you a Slippers wallet. Slippers would be fine. Oh, Buzz. Um, <laughs> is it a hat? I could use you a hat. Are, you, you are worse than Coop when it comes to surprises. I just can't help it. What'd you get me? <laughs> I will give you three more guesses. I think I only need the one. Happy birthday, Mr. Cooper. Oh. I'll buy you a watch and a wallet no. tomorrow. No. I think I have everything I need right here. Are you sure? I do need the slippers. We'll talk about that tomorrow. something. What? I love you. I love you. I just... You know something? I'm not gonna get tired of this. You better watch out. I tell you, it's just like, holding you, looking at you, memorizing everything about you, that freckle on your... and, uh... <laughs> And the way your hair falls into my face, and the smell, and the smell of like baby kisses and candy bars, everything is pure and delicious. It's just. Mm, and you? Yeah. Smell like champagne. Well, I spilled it all over myself. Uh, if you're trying to turn me on, it's working. Shut up, Petula Bradshaw. You make me feel like a high school kid again. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like it's a guy that's going to be told he's going to be hitting a home run when he knows he doesn't deserve to be on first base. First base? Isn't that just kissing? It depends on who's running the bases. I had a clever way of making girls think that I was just getting to first and I was really rounding second. How come that doesn't surprise me? Oh, whoa. I'm telling you, I got slapped a few times, but it was worth it. What am I going to do with you? I don't know. Whatever it is, can I watch? <laughs> You are incorrigible. No, I am in love. I am in love. I am totally, <laughs> wonderful, mind-boggling, stupidly in love. You have come to me. I always dreamed you would. Because I can't believe that we're, first of all, free to be together, that we don't have to hide anymore. I can't believe it. I just wish, oh, how I wish. <laughs> I wish I'd had the guts to tell good old Jeffy to take a hike so much sooner. Oh, please, let's not talk about him. He must always be mentioned. Take your own advice. Tonight belongs to us. Let's let it be perfect. It is perfect. 
You can go down and talk to my partner downstairs or go downtown to no, headquarters. Wait, wait, hold, hold on for one second, okay? My ex-wife was supposed to be here. There's blood on the floor. What happened? Look, nobody died, if that's what you mean. Not yet. Not yet? That, you know something? That's not good enough. I need to know. Give me some names, at least, please. I can't give out names. Somebody was Come hurt. Come on. They were rushed down to the hospital. What hospital, then? Cedars. Thank you very much. Come on, Reva, for once in your life, be lucky. Maybe I'll be just fine. Just fine. Just hang on. Listen to me. Hey, Rick, 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 Rick
Thanks for going for a walk with me. Oh, I feel yeah. much better. I enjoyed it. I did. You know, I love this neighborhood. I really do. I don't mm -hmm. get down here enough. Well, you know, you're so busy shuttling don't back and start. forth between the mansion don't and the start office. With me. <laughs> I'm living at the Bowers right now. Are you really? Apple Pie America, yes. Well, that'll be good for you, because you look like you haven't laughed in a few months. Longer. <laughs> mm. Ah, boy, I gotta go. Bye. You know what? You look great. Thanks. You really do, and I'm glad you're back. Yeah, me too. I kind of miss this old joint. Yeah. I'll give you a call. We'll go out. I'll whine about my family. Uh, yeah, you can I love tell me that. about your marital. patient will live. Is he awake? You mean, is he talking? Oh, Josh! I'm so glad to see you! What happened? It's Alan Spaulding. Someone got very angry with him and hit him over the head with a vase. What? Yeah, I, uh, found Annie in Fran's hotel room. Annie? Yeah, she'll tell you the whole story. What's she talking about, Annie? No, go on. Go on, Annie. You tell him. You tell him the story. Annie. What? Hi. How is he? He's stabilized. He's stabilized. We're going to keep him overnight for observation. Uh, we'll no more after the CT results come in. Is he conscious? For the moment. I have to see him. Not now. No, break. I need to see him. I'm the therapist. I have to see him. For a minute. But do not upset him. Do you understand? Uh, Reba, wait. Just, I will be. Just I'll be slow. right back. I'll be right back. do this anymore. I, I apologize. No, you don't have to apologize. No, I do. I, I, I'm i sorry. I just got a little carried away there. No, you, you, you... We both got carried away, and and I don't like it. Don't you understand? Yeah, I do understand, and I'm gonna take it slower from now on, okay? God almighty, I don't even know who you are. Yes, sh wait a minute. You do know who I am. I'm the same person that I've always been. I, Tess, I haven't lied to you. I haven't, I haven't deceived you in any way, and I wish that there was some way that I could prove this to you. I, I mean, I want to do that. I don't want you to do anything else. I want you to stop. You got it? Tess, yes, I got it, and I'm sorry, okay? I got a little crazy. No, you didn't. You didn't. It's fine. It's just me. I... I don't... I look, I still love my husband, okay? Just... This has been Guiding Light. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, the Oklahoma City bombing trial. The jury deliberates. The nation awaits the verdict. More later.